Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and turn this this way. got this setting in here the way it's going. This is all waxed. It's all set up. So basically I'm looking at about this, trying to look at the area, figuring each one of these holes probably equals about that much of the can, up about that high. Nine of them, somewhere up around here. Okay, so then we figure out the area out here. I'm thinking one of these will do it. If not, I've got one more setting right here. We're going to mix the uh, fiberglass resin in here. 50-50 with baby powder. Baby powder gives it strength. Plus, it's, the other thing is it helps the coils cool. I figured I could probably use half of this, maybe three quarters of this, and then half of one of those over there, unless it doesn't come up to volume. Well, that's probably about right with the baby powder. Kind of looks like milk through the jug. Imagine that. Okay, well, we've got it all set up. Time to mix just the resin and the baby powder. Then we'll mix the hardener. All right, basically we've got this all waxed. A few of the little fiberglass strands are trying to hide behind. I'm gonna, even though I got a board coming up here, I'm gonna go ahead and wax up to here. Oh, not wax, this is lard, cooking grease, fat, whatever you wanna call it. Cheap stuff will do. Of course, my wife didn't have any of the cheap stuff, so we got the good stuff. We got the uh, fiberglass resin mixed up with the baby powder. Took quite a while getting the lumps out. My wife, Mr. Muddy's wife, came in pretty handy on that. There we go. We got that all greased. I'm going to grease up here. The next thing is we're going to mix up the resin with the hardener. Now we got it at this stage. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I grease up the lid as well before I even start any of this because you don't have too much set, uh, too much time to play with fiberglass. Even if you set the uh, hardener in, you only put a little in it's still going to harden up you don't want to take chances so this is something you want to take care of now all righty we're uh greasing the lid of course the lid's got a little bit more surfaces to go the best thing i can tell you on this is because we're using bolts instead of the little standoffs or uh terminals that you uh you can buy take a little bit which i've already done and pack these holes <laughs> Don't worry, this stuff's cheap. You know it ain't gonna stick, it comes off kind of easy. There we go. Shove it in the holes, just like you're packing bearings. I don't want my Crisco back, by the way. Why? <laughs> <laughs> all right, I guess I got about a third of a gallon of this all mixed up with the baby powder. I'm only gonna put a little bit of hardener in here. I don't want this to mess up while I'm trying to harden up while I'm trying to work with it. I don't care how long it takes. My wife is my wife has already beat out all the air bubbles and all of that. Now it's just mix this resin thoroughly. I don't want to spend forever doing it, but I do want to get it thorough. Alright, we're fixing to have to work fast. Okay, what are you gonna do? Alright, take this out of the way. Is that still on? Yep. Yeah. Good. All right, paintbrush. Paint you a nice layer on here. The best way to paint is get it on there and spread it. Put the paint on the wall and spread it. This is not decor we're working with. Get in there real good. Do have some fiberglass resin or fiberglass right there. I'm gonna put that over here. I need some strength there anyway. All right, you take that side. We're setting the outside up on the outside of the circle. Wonderful. All right, let go. That's sweet right there. I'm gonna start on my outside edges. Get those lined up. I'm gonna work all the bubbles that I can see towards the middle. Looks like I got a bit of gravel in there. There we go. Alright, a little more fiberglass resin after you get most of the bubble that you can get out. Add that to it.
Too much of a hurry, I think. Yeah, that's working a little better. Two gloves would have been nice. We only found one. All right, time to add more in here. Really shouldn't have done the middle. Too late now. All right, now we'll paint it up onto the edges. Make sure all this gets saturated. If you can see through it, <coughs> that means you don't have air. If you can't see through it, you have air. Edge, I'm not going to worry about smelling the rest of it. Saturate this fabric. Okay, time for the coils. Set that down in there. Need to pour some in the middle. All around where the coils are going to be. Get a nice little layer in there. All right, and we're going to set this in. Time to cut the outside of this off. Just cut right along this green and it should be fine. Hold this coil so it don't fall in. Right, get this out of the middle. This got to go. I don't think you want the dragonfly in there. <clears throat> Push my coils out. There we go. All right, that's set in. How much time I got left? It's about a quarter of the way. Okay. All right, now we want to take a little more. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and pour this till it gets up pretty much to the level. Start at the coils till it gets up pretty much level to the 5 8 I don't think we're level here. Got just enough. All right, we need to mix some more. Ready to do? Yep, we need to mix some more. Run over the side. Yep, need to mix some more. I know. Before this hardens, I'll put some paint sticks under this side. Okay. All right. Next thing is to put the mat on. I'm really glad my wife is here tonight. <laughs> Alright, I got a couple bubbles. One there, 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 and there. I'm not really worried about it. I tried to get them out. They just don't want to budge. Uh, the camera ran out of juice. So here we go. Pour some more on top. We got to get ready for the rest of this hardens. I just mixed this. Some of this is going to squeeze on out and make a mess. That I know. Make sure you fill any pits, holes, and valleys that you got. We know it's well saturated. Already got it well saturated. Just want to make sure I touch everything on the outside. When I put that lid on, it doesn't matter if this is wobbly or what. Because the lid goes on, it's going to be straight. Here's the rest of it. Time to put the lid on. This is going to be the tricky part. Remember, what I'm basically going to do is set this down. I got to work the set that end down, work the bolts into the holes. Here, take the camera off of there. You're going to show them how this is done. It's recording. Yes, the red lights on. Okay, good. All right, I'm going to set this down. Set one bolt in. Now these bolts ain't going to want to go through these holes unless they're perfectly straight with the board. So a little leaning is going to help. Work both of them on both sides. <laughs> Thank you, baby, for giving me a hand. Doing good. Doing good. <sighs> no. Oh, good. All right. Yeah. Try not to get your hand in there. This one's standing up. Can't help it. My hand's in there. I know. Come Can on. You? I did it on the practice run twice. This side's good. 
Got to get this one set up. It's riding on this one. That one's riding good. I don't know why that one don't want to go in. Now it's going. Now it's this one. All right, I got them all set. Time to tap her down. Get it somewhat level. It should be in the middle with that nail. There we are. Got two corners set. Time to get the screw gun out. And zap these screws down. Start with that one over there. Line this up, get this one over here. down a whole bunch of doggone resin just came out. Time to move some stuff around on the bench. Put this one down. Side. I glad you can get to invert this, but I did try to let one side go down first. Shouldn't be too many air bubbles. hit them all. Well, you can see I got some of this up here, but I'm sure some of that lard got on them bolts. If not, I'll just be grinding them off when I'm done. Well, two, three hours from now, I will have a stator. See it coming up out of the middle there. <coughs> <laughs> that means I had plenty. <laughs> I'd rather use a little more than not enough. Still coming up out of that hole. <laughs> oh yeah, it will. Anyway, till this dries, we'll see you later. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things for you and yours.